Tasha says what she really feels unashamedly, unapologetically, and it's all those things that Wendy thinks, but it's like, girl, you can do that. <laughs> but I love her, you know, and no pun intended, I, I love the balls that she has to just stand up and be who she is, good, bad, or indifferent. The game season two premieres on Paramount Plus on December 15th. So how does this season stand out from season one? I think mm. season one, um, you saw the world of the game in terms of, you know, the field and the players and the football and and all of that. I, I really think this dives into the personal demons that we are all facing. Um, mm. Last year, yeah, it was mental health. I think this year it's physical health, it's um, substance abuse, it's um, a lot of elements that are not necessarily in the locker room, but in the um, the real rooms, <laughs> the bedroom, mm-hmm. and things like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Brian, I called um, my thoughts, uh, what, how I labeled the season. Last season was the cause, and this season yeah. felt like the effect, the effect in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, so we get to see what Wow. was all caused last season, the effect of all of that this season or some of those things this season. Absolutely. And Wendy, I wanted to ask you this. Um, at the end of season one, Tasha's put in a vulnerable spot because of Malik's decision, really the team's decision to walk out uh, at the start of the game. So um, is this the most challenging situation Tasha has ever, ever encountered in her career? I think the most challenging are the effects of what he did. Yes, mm. yes, absolutely. So it's a ride that I didn't see coming, but I welcome mm. it so much as an actress because it was it was salacious. It was great to be able to, um, you know, without tipping too much, but to see the, um, the consequences of the actions. And, you know, that's my son, that's my world. So how far will I go to... Um, to support his choice and the, the the team's choice and at what cost. So definitely it is the most uh, vulnerable you will see, Tasha. And that leads me to my next question for Hosea. Uh, Malise's decision to walk out obviously has a ripple effect on the entire league and really just the people around them. So, and how important was it for the show to touch on the league um, going on strike because we've seen it in the NFL uh, with the lockout in mm-hmm. 2011, the strike in the early 80s. So how important was it to touch on that um, as well as it, how a, it affects everyone? Yeah. I think it's the number one priority. And um, what I mean by that is the number one priority is to get the story right and to get it as authentic to what players are, are dealing with. Um, you know, we all, the whole world face in the last few years, some challenges that we never, we, we've never experienced in this generation. And what that did for a lot of us is it forced us to be more authentic than we've ever been and to deal with our realities um, that a lot of us have maybe pushed aside or been in denial about. But over the past couple of years, so for so many reasons, COVID included, obviously, um, we can't really hide anymore. So the show, in my opinion, it had to it had to resemble what real life is. And that's an an authenticity um, to what the players are going through, especially when it comes to mental health um, Mm -hmm. and and protesting and all these things. So we had no choice in in my opinion, but to get it right by using the authenticity of what uh, the players are going through in today's time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And Wendy, I want to ask you this. There's so many things to like about Tasha. She's never short on words. She's strong. She's independent. And obviously she's an entrepreneur. But what do you like most about Tasha? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Great. Great. <laughs> you know what? I call her she's my alter ego. Because Tasha says what she really feels unashamedly, unapologetically, and it's all those things that Wendy thinks, but it's like, girl, you can do that. (laughs) But I love her, you know, and no pun intended, I I love the balls that she has to just stand up and be who she is, good, bad, or indifferent. And she deals with those demons, you know, because they get into a lot of trouble, but I just love her um, fearlessness. But, um, you know, every now and then we have to face those fears and you're going to see that this season. All right. Looking forward to it. Well, Hosea, Wendy, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on season two of the game and continued success to you. 